What's up guys, right now we're almost out to where Pennsylvania Pine Museum is. We just met up with Bill and them at a gas station. Harry's getting some gas. I've been driving. And we're gonna go get something to eat and then go find a hotel. I'm checking in at the Red Roof Hotel. And then we're gonna go to the museum. Alright, here we are. We're all like right here. Oh, these videos take me out to watch my mouth. Yep. <laughs> Gentlemen, how you doing? Hey. Right. Good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Great. We're here. Great to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh, you got to stop. Oh, God. Keep your head up. <laughs> So, you can... thank you. So, as you can see, this is a new platform for the fairgrounds. And when I say they were making it bigger, I didn't realize they were making it this much bigger. Oh, here's the wire they use to put up live. And I don't know how exactly they do it, but they keep it live, and those are breaking and all. This is a little line cow. So nice and neat, everything they need. So we just got done eating at Bob Evans and now we go at the museum. Here's Trolley Street that you guys seen me walk on last time. And a park. Okay, we just left the car bomb. We walked down here to come see the ceremony, how it's set up, and here are the golden spikes. The six of them lined up right there. So we just got done the golden spike ceremony. Now we're gonna go for a ride on 78. Two films on the weeds. <laughs> So we left the museum, we're now in Pittsburgh, almost, doing some rail training of the light rail and stuff. There's one of the little cars. We're walking along trying to get a good spot to shoot with the sun. As you can see, we're looking over the edge, there's a train down there. And we're waiting for more red and blue line cars to come and there's a whole city with a really horny train. I'm at Arlington in Wollongtown by the police station waiting for a streetcar to come so I can try to get some good footage. Go back there getting pictures and some stuff. Just got back to the hotel again. I'm shooting in Pittsburgh and I'm gonna eat and go for my. Gonna go grab some food and then go to the museum. So we get done lunch, we pull up, we get down there, we cross the tracks. I'm like, oh my god, I need to go. There's trains sitting up there. I didn't know if they were moving or what, but they were just sitting here. And Ohio Central and then the Pittsburgh and Ohio Central. One's a GP-10M and one's just a GP. But this was a good catch. I'm so happy I, I finally got to see 
one of the engines i seen the red and black one i've never seen this one and i've never seen that one i knew they had these i didn't know they had them but i really like the orange ones i think i know this guy <laughs> what who are you i don't even know who you are some maintenance ones let's check to be seen on Facebook page. So we are getting tickets so we can go wide all day. So it's really good from any for like a month. As you can see, we're at the tunnel entrance where they are doing track walk. Now we're going to go by the incline, which is right over the NS line. So we just got off the incline and we made it to the top. Is that how you want to live? Is that how you want to live? Yeah. Have to take the incline every day? <laughs> Now we're up on the lookout. There's the stadium bridge, skyline. So we just went to the bathroom. George has some crackles, and I found this. We are about to go back down. Down here at the perfect timing. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> they even have a caboose sitting here. A huge caboose. M L Y. Drobo's Caboose, this caboose was built by the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad with accommodations for both railroad and freight train crew. We're walking up and down Station Square. There's a bunch of old furnaces here. And we're just kind of chilling, waiting for another train. The mile marker is zero, and then there's an old mile marker zero with 30 and 50 speed. Another old piece of equipment. We missed a Norfolk Southern train. You missed a Norfolk Southern train. It's busy down here. We just need a train. There's a plane over there.
This thing is huge. This is just as big as the freight shed for Baltimore. You guys got brand new wheels just chilling. Of course. Like literally just chilling. Ain't a whole thing of brake shoes. Ain't a whole thing of brand new overhead heels. This is one of the original. Now we're in the yellow building. Now this is this has changed a little bit. So I'm on the committee with the building and all that. But basically, okay, the general idea is you go in here, then this is now going to be like the ticket window in the store, okay? And then you got the exhibits in the classroom space. But those center doors are still there. So you walk through and that'll be Trolley Street, all right? Okay. Now the other other thing that's happened, which we don't have a a diorama of, but we actually got a couple uh, old uh, railroad station aprons um, donated. So that's actually going to be on either side of the doors as well to provide, you know, protection from the elements, cover, that kind of stuff. And okay. So this thing, 2000, is another one of my favorites here. Other than 4004, just because I can do this. <laughs> Quit grinning, Logan. <laughs> I can't. Car train away, and now we're gonna go jump on the car with almond. So, right now we're almost empty in the car barn. So, they are getting out everything to practice for the fail to that sucks. <laughs> Whoops. So we're practicing. Hey, 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 let's do the pass. We're pursuing the county homes. We are bumping them out. We're doing uh, like a following a buddy system, so two cars are staying together. And our follow is solely 756. now back at the hotel. I'm eating McDonald's. Um, all the footage you've seen, they were running seven calls tonight to practice for the fail. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. So we just ate at the Waffle House and back at the museum for our last day. And now, sadly, it's time to leave. <laughs>